<laughs> Good morning. Good morning, little buddy. What's that face for? Did you slept good last night? <laughs> that makes me happy. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. I am so, so happy because we got home from our trip yesterday. He like He's like looking for my boobs. <laughs> no, we don't do that anymore in the morning, okay? He's gonna get mad. Sorry. So today is Monday. Yesterday we got home from our trip and I had been telling you guys that on the trip Jackson had not been sleeping at all. He did three nights in a row where he woke up multiple times at night, wound up in my bed, and I was like freaking out because I was like when we get home he's never gonna sleep again and we're gonna have to start sleep training all over again. But last night he slept so good and I didn't have to go get him. He slept from like 8 till almost like 8.30 this morning. So you know what? I think he just missed his bed. He missed his mattress. I don't know what it was. But he slept comfy last night. He did kind of like whimper at like 10 o'clock but he like popped his head up and then he went back to sleep so i was just so happy to get some good sleep today like last night because i needed it did you like sleeping in your room yeah i know it's a nice room so speaking of his mattress today's video is sponsored by nude and baby that's the mattress that jackson uses so thank you to them for sponsoring they do also have an offer right now going on for you guys so if you click the link in my description box all the information will be there but i believe it's like 50 dollars off the mattress plus free shipping so if you guys want to try it out i've had a couple people in my dms like last night i was asking for like links that you guys needed and a couple people asked for the mattress so that's a mattress we use i'm going to show you guys it now because i'm going to wash the cover so i've showed you guys this a couple times i do put a sheet over it just because it kind of goes with like the star wars theme in jackson's room but i'm going to take off the cover so you guys can see what the mattress itself looks like Maybe I can wash this too. So this is the Nudin Baby mattress. We have loved it. It comes in four different colors. So we have like the gray one. It comes in pink, blue, and white. So there's a bunch of different reasons why I love this mattress so much. First of all, it's 100% breathable. I believe they did a study where um, I think you get 97% more breathable air through this mattress versus like a traditional mattress. So if your baby is like a face sleeper, like Jackson, Jackson literally sleeps like straight on his face now. So if your baby sleeps that way and they fall asleep with their face in the mattress, they can still breathe through it. You don't have to worry about them suffocating. It's just so crazy. Like you can try it for yourself. Like I've tried it a million times and like you put your face in here and you can still breathe because I'm going to show you guys what's under this cover. I know you want your mattress back. I'm just, I'm just showing it to our friends. Okay. He's like, what are you doing? Oh, what's that? Here, I'll do it on the floor. So you can breathe through it. Um, then there's this feature, which is my absolute favorite. So there's a zipper here on the side, and this zips all the way around. Hello, little guy. So this zips like this. And then you can take this cover off, and you can throw this in the wash, which is what we're going to go downstairs to the basement to do. That's how Jackson snores, by the way. <laughs> you want to go back to sleep? Yeah, you want to go back to sleep? I'll let you. You can sleep all day if you want. Yeah? And he's like, I like to sleep here. It's a comfy mattress, huh? <laughs> I think you missed it. So yes, yeah, so you can throw this in the wash. This is what's under here. This is the mattress itself. It's so interesting what it's made out of. It's made out of like a food grade polymer, like the same kind of material that yogurt cup is made out of. That's what this is. So what's great about this too is that if this were to ever get dirty, like if your baby were to leak through this cover and this were dirty or you just wanted to be like extra sanitary, you can literally take this whole piece of um, the actual mattress, put it in the shower and hose it off and then let it dry. So everything is washable, which is unlike any other mattress that's on the market right now. So I've said it before in like the other videos that I've partnered with um, Nude and Baby for, but this is the kind of mattress that you can pass on. Because of the fact that you can clean it so well, you definitely feel comfortable like passing it on to another family member, which extends the life of it, reduces the footprint on the planet, like all of those things. And then once everyone is done with it, it's 100% recyclable. So that is another plus. So anyway, we're gonna take this cover, we're gonna throw it in the wash because it's been a while since I do that. Um, if Jackson would get off, that would be very helpful so we've got this top piece and now I've got to get the bottom piece somehow excuse me little buddy wow isn't that cool that's your mattress that's what you sleep on every night there you go done 
All right, so we're gonna go throw this in the um, wash downstairs. I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, a huge thank you to Nudu Baby for sponsoring today's vlog. And like I said already, um, if you guys wanna check out the $50 off the mattress, the offer and all of that, click the link in the description box. All the info will be there. All right, so now I gotta see how I get this guy. I'm gonna probably have to come back upstairs for this to then put it down in the basement. But we just got back home yesterday, so we've got a lot to do. And I hope that you guys enjoy hanging out with us today. Good morning, Riley. What are you doing? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Dad is making you your breakfast. What are you going to have for breakfast? Um, waffle, blueberries, and grapes. Oh, that sounds like a delicious waffle breakfast. Waffles. waffles, blueberries, and grapes. We only have one out of the three of those things. Yeah. Uh, we can give her either orange apple or that banana. Or I think there's some apples in the fridge. We got home and there's like hardly any fresh fruit because we went through like the stuff that we had in our fridge before we left. So I placed an Aldi order, it gets here in the afternoon. So we have to kind of like make do with what we have left there. So anyway, I situated Jackson there with his banana. Now let me run to the basement. I am still wanting to paint this. So I still have the paint. I've had the paint there probably there for like a month. So I'm gonna hopefully tackle that within the next couple like days. Maybe this week I can get to it, but I'm just gonna paint all of these walls white so that I don't have to see this when I come down here. But anyway, this is as easy as it gets for washing a mattress cover. Just throw all of this in here. There's no really any special cycle. I mean, I'm gonna probably do bedding. Get one of my offering clear pots, throw that in there, and then it should be ready here soon. Put it on bedding. I just have to keep like an ear out for when it's done so that I can switch it to the dryer because Jackson goes down for his first nap, I don't know, like after 10.30, so I wanna make sure that that is ready to go. Today I'm breaking my rule of no coffee until like a whole glass of water, sometimes even until after my breakfast. Starting off the day with my coffee. Riley is eating her breakfast here on the couch. Living the best life. Hey Riley, did you have fun in Virginia Beach? Yeah, but I love to go again. You want to go again? Seriously, so glad that we did that. And yes, it was like our first trip as a family of four. Like usually, it's we're traveling like you know to go see my parents or we're going somewhere where my parents are at. So it was like our first trip as a family, which was very nice. But like I always say, um, you know, going somewhere with your babies is not a vacation. It is a trip. So that was very true of this one. Even though at least the drive wasn't too bad, the three hours in the car was not too bad but especially with jackson not sleeping and stuff it was it was rough like i definitely am very tired from that so i'm happy to be home and you know we can get back into our routine and there's a lot of stuff that we still need to do around here so i am very happy to be back in my space oh dada how do you like the new dishwasher Love it. it actually works awesome i know it was a great valentine's day gift great purchase um, we used it, I think the last time that I vlogged, like we had just gotten it, but we used it, it gets the dishes dry. I love that little top rack that it has, so we can put like some of the smaller stuff up there and then down on the bottom where like the utensils holder thing is, I had told you guys on Instagram that I was having a fit because it has like the little hole, so you put the utensils facing up and I don't like the utensils facing up because then when I grab them to take them out, I'm like touching the stuff that then later gets put in people's mouths. But I removed those, so those are removable, so now I can like dunk the utensils like the correct way. So that is that. And then in terms of purchases too, last night, Joe and I finished paying off our car. So that was like a good, like moment like we were really happy because now we don't have any debt other than the house so we had been throwing a lot of extra money towards the car and the car that i'm talking about is like my car my acadia that we got when we first moved up here so we've had the car for a year we had financed it out for like five years and had like a monthly payment but we always said like we're gonna try to pay it off as fast as possible so that way we don't have a car payment anymore and we were able to do that in a year so i feel very blessed that we were able to do that. But now like that extra money that we were throwing at the car, now we have extra money to do other stuff with. So we can either save it or we can use it for travel money or I don't know, we can kind of figure out what we're gonna do. We need to open up a like saving, some kind of savings account for the kids. So if you guys have any like recommendations, let me know. We did though recently, um, like we upped the amount, like the percent that Joe was contributing to his retirement plan through work. So he was putting a certain percentage and now we upped that. So that made me feel good about like, you know, saving for retirement and stuff. But I'm just saying that because today's March 1st and I was doing the budget yesterday. So yesterday we were like paying bills and we were trying to figure out what our budget looked like for March and all of that. I did start two um, like new little savings accounts, like two extra like little envelopes if you watch like my whole finance series. So I started an envelope for a swing set for the kids. So hopefully 
maybe by the end of April or early May we can get them some kind of swing set for the backyard and then I also opened up another little um savings account for Disney but not for the one that we're gonna go now like we're going now in March to Disney but I am hoping that we can go for like the holidays like December time frame I have a girlfriend that has twins and we want to go and do like a trip together with the kids so hopefully that'll work out but I am like anticipating that that trip will need a certain amount of money for so we're starting to save it now so we've got like 10 nine or ten months to do that so I kind of just estimated what it might cost um, and then like divided it by the number of months so that every month we're saving that and I do know that I've seen some requests come through for like I don't know tips for Disney I do have a Disney tips video the video is like horrendously filmed like I filmed it a long time ago but I'm sure that the tips there are pretty valid it's from when I took Riley on our own so I'll link it down below if you guys want to see it you guys can check it out but I will do an updated one after we get back from the trip and then as we get closer I'll probably share like some of the things that you know we're thinking about we can kind of talk about like the pricing and all of that I'm gonna share all of that as soon as we go I just don't want to like share yet like where we're staying and all of that but if you guys have any questions about Disney leave them down below in the comments so that way I can kind of see them and make sure that I answer them here in the next couple weeks all right tiny human just finished eating his breakfast <laughs> meanwhile Riley hasn't even <laughs> started hers Gordo you want to walk you want to show our friends how you walk come yeah you can play with Jackson yeah come there's a fish no 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 those little socks have grips on the bottom by the way Good job. You can do it. Fish. Good job. I think I showed you guys in the vacation vlog um, that he started like now. Like if he's in this position, he will like stand up on his own. Like he puts his hands on the floor and gets up. So he's doing that more and more. You're going to play with your little brother? Yeah. Is he going to be nice today? I've been meaning to do like a video for you guys on like his favorite toys, so stay tuned because I'll be kind of talking about oh 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 that's not nice boy Hey, 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 break it up. But yes, like a video on his favorite toys from Christmas, like what worked, what didn't, and all of that. But in the meantime, I'm here just breaking them apart all day long like that. Like he is a savage and he attacks her. And I think it's just because she's always bothering him. And I was talking to my mom the other day because I was like, I don't remember. Like this guy cries all day long. And I've shared that before, but like literally lately, it's like all day long. And some of it has to do with like the fact that he's obsessed with me and just like wants his mom all the time but some of it is like that's he's nice. just that's very nice of you to share with him i like that some of it is just that he's always like unhappy because she's around or in his space and i don't remember riley ever being so much of like a crybaby at his age but when i had just riley there wasn't another tiny human to like bother her or to like take toys away from her so it's a very different dynamic having one kid versus having two and so yes for those of you moms that have one and you're thinking about having two or you're pregnant with your second one just prepare yourself because it's it's a whole it's a whole new thing add to that like the extra like noise from another tiny human and it's just it's a lot more intense over here is all I can all I can say so Riley was playing with play-doh and now Jackson has taken over this little area over here he has been doing better though you guys like I've noticed that he's not sticking as many things in his mouth so that's like the only reason why I'm like even taking my eyes off of him right now because normally he'd be putting that play-doh in his mouth but he's doing better meanwhile Riley is gonna play in the sink I don't know that that one's gonna stop the water. I think I only have one, but we'll see, okay? So I filled up one side of the sink with some dish soap. She has bubbles, and then she has her little, let me see your farm animals. She has her little farm animals that she can, you know, play with in there. These little figurines are great for that kind of stuff. There's so many different things that you can do with them. She's gonna play in there for a little while to keep her entertained. That'll be her activity for this morning.
Okay, so it's like 11 o'clock. We are back in Jackson's room. I'm like winded because I was carrying him going down to the basement, going back up from the basement, going up the stairs. And apparently that makes me a weakling because if I can't even do that, I've got problems. But I got his um, cover and his sheets from the dryer. That only took like 30 minutes to dry. I thought I was going to have to put it for like a whole hour and it was only 30 minutes. And it is very much dry. So I'm going to show you how I put this back on the mattress. And then he's going to go down for his nap because he is like out of control today. So this is fairly simple. I just have to figure out where the two pieces connect. Right, so now... It'll zip back, and I can just put that over the mattress. Get this inside of here. It's probably easier just to like lay it on top of the first layer like that. It's a little uneven, but and there we go. Brand new washed mattress. So I think before there were like these little stains. I forgot where I saw them, but now they are all gone because this has been freshly washed. So let's put this back on. Let me get the um, sheet back on. Little man, it is time for your nap. This is ready to go. I wanna get him down and then I wanna try to go to CVS cause I have a prescription that I need to pick up and I need to look for a couple things. So maybe if I can get out of here, I'll take you guys with me. So let me turn off the lights. He's gonna have a fit. I gotta change his diaper, all of that. This room is a mess, look at this. Look at the state of this room. This is gonna need some cleaning up later. Okay, so I just made it to CVS. I wish that you guys could have seen me like what I just had to do. I've been circling around the parking lot like 20 times because I'm in Joe's giant truck. He has like a big F-150 and I'm not used to parking with this giant truck. Like the other times that I've gone and used his truck, I go and like there's plenty of parking spots. It's very open lot so I feel comfortable parking. But this CVS is like popping today. There's like a million people here maybe because it's like a COVID testing site. I don't know but it's packed. So there were spots but not enough spots where like I felt comfortable like pulling in. So that's what I have to deal with. So anyway, let's go inside. Let me get my prescription. I'm getting um, my birth control because I'm not going back to my doctor till like April and I was gonna like run out. So I asked, you know, for her to refill the birth control. Hopefully it'll be like the last time I have to use that birth control. Like maybe when I see her, I can get on something different. I don't know, we'll see. And then I'm gonna try to look for like some toothpaste for Riley because the toothpaste that she's been using, the crust one, she last night was having a fit and said she wanted the Tom's of Maine one, the one that's strawberry. So I'm gonna find one that has fluoride, maybe get her her conditioner her hair spray conditioner that she uses to detangle so i don't know we'll see what the cvs is looking like because i mean like everybody and their mother is here today okay just got my prescription let's look for riley's stuff so i don't know if they carry the honest company stuff here they have um baby Gannics. looking for honest company i don't think i see it look how cute all this bliss stuff and i'm sorry but when did the pantene packaging get so beautiful <laughs> like look how pretty that stuff is i remember when it just looked like that okay so here they have some kids stuff but i don't see the detangling spray but they do have oh, see they have the fluoride free one and i'm looking for one that has fluoride so is it this one in the back <gasps> yes this one you see how it says fluoride toothpaste so we're gonna try this out i am gonna grab this because i think i've been seeing this on instagram or tiktok one of them that it's like great so i'm gonna just grab that you guys i found it i found the non-waterproof version of the mascara so i'm getting two like what on earth i've never seen this before in my life this is an easter bunny unicorn and like is it just me or are these bunnies getting bigger because like that one is like three feet tall that one's like super huge Look at all these bunnies. Who's ready for Easter? Are you guys ready for Easter? All of this candy out. I'm gonna try to control myself and not get anything. Oh, these are cute stock, like not stocking stuffers, but Easter basket um, stuffers, the little scribble scrubbies. Riley loves those. What else do they have here? Peeps, are you guys fans of Peeps? I am, but I'm gonna try to be good and not get them right this second. All of the super fancy bunnies, those gold wrapped bunnies. They have like what, LOL doll eggs, really? Really? Frozen egg? Oh look, 50% off. Oh crap, I said I was gonna be good. <laughs> and they have 50% off of the Easter, not the Easter, I'm confusing myself, the Valentine's Day candy. But I really don't, I don't need it. I don't need it, I don't need it. Oh, Sour Patch, crap. 
Okay, so I would say overall that was a success. I was able to get our prescriptions and then um, there was like a huge line by the cosmetic section. So I wasn't able to like see all of the stuff that I wanted to see. I like to like browse through CVS, see what new makeup and stuff there is. But there was a huge line because they are doing the vaccine here. So that's why this place is packed. But I'm very, very happy that I found the, um, the Sky High mascara that everyone wants and that it's sold out everywhere. So I have the waterproof version, but now I have the regular one. And I'm glad because the waterproof one, every time that I go to take it off like it strips a lot of my lashes so for an everyday kind of mascara i have this one so i got two of them it's like 11.50 for each one they're a little bit expensive and then i did get just like one of these like nivea like chapstick things because my lips have been super dry and then the cerave thing i literally thought that this was 8.99 like that's why i grabbed it what so I grabbed it because it was sitting in a spot that said $8.99. When the lady rang it up, it was $24. So I don't know if I would have bought it if it was $24. Like I could have just told her not to, but whatever. It's $24.49, which totally sucks, but it is what it is. Better be worth it. Like literally a bunch of people, like a lot of the bloggers and stuff that I follow have been saying it's great for dry skin and all of that. It says healing ointment protects and soothes dry, cracked and shaved skin. And I don't know, my skin is just not doing the best, especially like my hands, especially that I'm like picking at the skin there. So hopefully it'll help. But I am glad that I found Riley's toothpaste because last night when Joe was trying to brush her teeth, she was having a fit. So this is a silly strawberry flavor. This one is $5.99, a little expensive for toothpaste, but if it prevents a meltdown, I'll pay like $15 for that crap because I just don't need any more screaming in my life. All right, I made it home and we got our Aldi order. So I'm gonna film a separate grocery haul for you guys. Riley, who lives in that pineapple? <laughs> SpongeBob. I, I actually got a pineapple. I'm gonna try to cut it up for the first time ever. I've never done that with a pineapple. But she's been obsessed with SpongeBob, so she said that that is SpongeBob's house, and she's not exactly wrong. Right, let's take this to the kitchen. All right, you guys. So it's been a little while since I got home. I got the kids their lunch and all of that. I brought in our groceries. I filmed an Aldi haul for you guys that I'm sure you guys have seen at this point. But I also did this over here. I chopped up a pineapple and a cantaloupe for the first time in my entire life. So I'm feeling. Feeling like a pro, feeling like I learned something new today because I've never bought like a fully, you know, like a full pineapple and chopped it up. So we have lots of fresh fruit for the week. That makes me super happy. So, oh, this was, <laughs> this is what? No, 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 it's, I just want to make sure it's not leaving like, you know, a mark, okay? And it's not, so it's okay. So she's got Play-Doh on my fridge, good times, but I filmed the video, so that's great. So we've got all these boxes, all this stuff I gotta put away. Jackson just finished his lunch over there. So anyway, I'm feeling really productive today. I'm feeling really good. It was nice to get out of the house, even if it was just to CVS. I feel like every time that I do that, I tell you guys that it gets a little less scary being out, seeing other people, seeing other humans. They don't kidnap me. I feel good. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up this mess, get Jackson, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. So I came over here to make myself a smoothie, and I opened up my freezer, and I forgot that I had these. I had picked them up at Walmart, I don't know maybe a week or two ago they are so good i had never had them before holy rollies they're like little protein balls i am sure that i could recreate this i mean maybe we'll see it's me but i'm sure that i can recreate these they are delicious there's like peanut butter and oats and dates really good so it is 4 45 the kids did not take their naps but at least they were quiet enough that i was able to get a couple things done on the computer hello hi mister how are you doing today? It was so funny. I was watching him in the monitor and I was just telling you guys over on Instagram, but I was watching him and he was trying to suck on his toes. Like he was trying to bend in half so he could reach his toes. I thought it was so funny. Jackson, every time he sees me lately, he wants to like eat me because he wants to nurse and he can't do that no more. I think he got used to the fact that like these nights that he wasn't sleeping when we were in Virginia Beach, I brought him into the bed with me and he like got to reunite with my boobs because I was nursing him so he would go to sleep. It was like the only way he would go to sleep. But I knew that I couldn't keep doing that because then yes, he would get used to it. So we're still just with our one nursing session right before bed and then that's it. I actually want to, um, I want to check down in my freezer to make sure that I still have a little bit of frozen breast milk. Not to give him, but because I want to send it in to like make one of those breast milk jewelry pieces like there's places that you can send your breast milk to um and they make like beautiful rings and beautiful necklaces so to kind of like end that breastfeeding journey i want to have one of those things made so i need to make sure that i have some otherwise i'm gonna have to pump some out to send to the company um little mister we gotta stay here we gotta clean your room we gotta clean your room we're gonna clean your room because it's a mess okay 
Say, that sounds good, Mama. That sounds good. Let's go get Riley and then we'll clean your room. Hello, Riley. Are you going to help me clean? What is that? Is that a lightsaber? She's going to have so much fun when we go to Disney. We booked the... Ooh! We booked that thing in Hollywood Studios in the Star Wars land where they can build a droid. So, so whatever. Joseph wanted to do it. When we went last time, he built the lightsaber. But they have another thing where you can build some kind of droid. So they're going to get to do that. Anyway, let's see if they will let me do some cleaning up in here really quick. And then we're going to make our way downstairs. I want to make a very easy like pasta dish for dinner. But Joe needs to go get some vodka because it has like a vodka sauce. But he's working out right now. Oh my god. Never ends. Okay, can we can we just like be quiet, please? No. Can we try, <laughs> please? That is a Lego set, and you can make it with Dada one day when he lets you. Yeah, Dada is working out right now. Can I do it with you? I don't know how to. It's very complicated. And there we go. I gotta come in here with the vacuum because the floor is a mess, but at least it's tidied up. All right, I need to do a quick little cleanup too with the vacuum over here. There's Play-Doh everywhere. I kind of tidied up before no, I went upstairs. Vacuum. You, you, it was too noisy. I know that the vacuum is noisy, but you can cover your ears. Okay, so that's better than nothing. I really have to vacuum all of the floors, clean all the floors. They are a mess, but I'm gonna wash her little mat. At least that's, I don't know, a little bit nicer than it was before. By the way, we've got this random sleeping bag here because we bought the kids sleeping bags and we bought ourselves some sleeping bags and Riley took hers out and she was having fun playing with it yesterday. It's something very random, but after like everything happened with Texas and like, you know, people being cold in their homes and all of that, like we're preppers by nature, right? We have a lot of things already, but one of the things that we didn't have were sleeping bags. So I'll link the ones that I bought for the kids and then also ours. I got them off of Amazon. They were a little bit expensive. They were like a hundred something, I think each of ours, maybe for adults, a little less for kids, but they're supposed to be for temperatures. Like I think the kids are for like when it's 30 degrees or warmer and then ours I think are like 20 degrees. So they're supposed to keep them nice and warm in case we ever need like an extra layer of um, warmth, you know, if we're in our house, the heater's not working. Now we have some sleeping bags. How do we say up? Up. I'm trying to teach him how to say up. He throws his hands up, but he won't say up. Hey, say up. Up. And then Riley stole this little workout ball thing from the garage because Joe's working out and she wants to say hi to him. Do you like that? Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. All right. I hope she wears herself out so she will sleep very nicely tonight. All right? Let's do it. So we've got a little Finding Dory action right now. I also took out Jackson's little rainbow thing that he got. And this is something that they were playing the other day that, I don't know, was very exciting to them. We set it up like a little tent. Not like a tent. We set it up like a little tunnel. And then they pushed the cars through the tunnel. I don't know. They were having fun with it. It's one of the many ways to use this little rainbow thing that you see everywhere. Is that so cute? Yeah. Okay. You can also like stack it like this. They could practice stacking. Like a seesaw. Yeah, like a seesaw. You're right. Very good. Tiana. Are we going to see Tiana and Disney? Maybe? Maybe we have to get her back home again. Yeah? Yeah, we can get her back home. Okay, this movie is so cute. The Finding Dory. We've seen Finding Nemo a million times, but we finally saw Finding Dory. Riley, who do you like, Dory or Nemo? Nemo. You like Nemo? When we went to the aquarium, these are the like little toys that they that Riley picked out. So she wanted a little Nemo, a little Dory, since we've been watching that movie on repeat. So Joe just got back with the vodka I need. This is me trying to cook dinner in the kitchen. There's like a tunnel and there's like kids crying and Riley's going through the tunnel. Got the pasta boiling. And this is the vodka that Joe got me. This is good vodka. This is like my favorite drinking vodka, but whatever, we're gonna put it in our recipe. Thank you, Dada. You tired? I, the evening is not fun. The evening is not fun? <laughs> no, it's just walking the door. And I have to hand you a baby because I gotta cook. Two people, two kids. So this is what 
I'm making here. This penne with vodka sauce. We'll see if it, you know, turns out good. I ripped this out of, I don't even know which, like, magazine a million years ago. But we're gonna try it. All right, so this is the finished product. I know that it doesn't look very good. It tastes delicious. It is so good. I'm so proud of myself. It's not as aesthetically pleasing as the picture in the magazine, but it tastes bomb. So it tastes like I'm at a restaurant. I'm a happy camper. That was my first time making it. I will make it again. So we're gonna sit down and have some dinner. I'm gonna give Jackson some so he can try it, but I think, I think everybody's gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it, babe. Good. You better. All right, we did it. It is the end of the night. Joe is upstairs putting Riley to bed. I already finished putting Jackson to bed. So now Joe and I are going to watch The Walking Dead. I'm so excited that it finally came back. I don't know if you guys are a team like Nice Negan. I'm all about Nice Negan. Some people can't get past the mean Negan, but I love me some good Negan. So I'm excited to watch, I guess, I don't know if it's like a new season or a continuation of the season. I don't know, but all I know is that it's back. So we're gonna watch that. Before that, I do have to do a little bit of um, washing, like stain removing, because first of all, I need to get an apron because this is a shirt that I was wearing to cook and that's not a good idea when I was making like pasta sauce i got like little splatters of sauce everywhere so i need to get an apron for when i'm cooking and then jackson also like destroyed his pajama with um the pasta the pasta though was delicious i'm so glad that i made it and we have like two whole containers left over for like lunches so we have like two whole containers of this that'll be good for us to make like quick and easy lunches jackson liked it so that's something that i can give him so that was a success i do plan on filming more like cooking videos um i don't know if you guys are here for that or not i do have one like look i filmed like footage of me cooking i think it's like four dinners and i was gonna make it into a video it is so old that i even have like my long hair in some of the videos so i'm thinking of still putting it together like i have the footage i have to do like a voiceover with like the actual recipe and the instructions so i may um kind of finalize that and post it for you guys because it's like simple meals that if i can make you can make too so stay tuned for that i'm hoping that i can you know actually get that out to you guys but beyond that i hope to as i go like experimenting with some of these recipes to start like throwing them in some videos and you know you guys can cook with me i don't know like what style you guys like do you guys i guess i'll ask you do you guys like to watch cooking videos where like i'm talking to the camera and i'm like cooking as i'm going and like talking to the camera as i'm cooking or do you prefer like me filming the footage filming the b-roll and then doing the voiceover what do you guys like more i want to make sure that when i'm doing that um that it's like the way that you like to do it this time around i did it with the b-roll just because it was easier because i was like experimenting with it but it is easier for me if i just like film it as i go and walk you through it and talk to the camera more like vlog style that way later i don't have to do a voiceover because i hate doing voiceovers so yeah that is it um we're gonna enjoy the rest of the night so thank you guys so much for being here for hanging out with us again a huge thank you to newton baby for sponsoring the vlog again make sure to check the link in the description box i'll have all the info there on the discount how to get the 50 dollars plus free shipping off of the mattress we love it we swear by it if i had another child one day maybe who knows i would definitely get that mattress yeah that is it i love you guys thanks for being here make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys